I've been a fan of wrestling ever since I was a kid. I uh, never thought I was going to do it. When I learned of Lucha Libre, I decided to go for it. And here I am two years later. Lucha Libre is part of my Mexican culture. I'm going to start when I'm 14 years old. It's an intense workout because you have to be able to manipulate your body, you have to manipulate other people's bodies. It's a ton of work. We focus a lot more on groundwork, a lot of acrobatics. It's a lot faster paced. In Lucha, it's always go, 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 go. Tell me what did you learn so far here? Ah, uh, like jumping ropes, how to do some things without hurting your neck. Leo Negro. Freno Verde. Sonico. The masking has a really long tradition in Mexico, uh, dating back to pre-Columbian times. Our profe Jose Gomez has opted to let us use masks because it's kind of a, a mark of quality. It's a mystery for the people. See who is behind the mask, who's there, who's there. Lucha Libre is not only a sport, it also represents tradition, art, the good and evil, dedication and passion. It's a, it's a mixture of dancing, sport, love, you're the only girl here. Mm -hmm. So that feels weird? Um, not really. It's pretty much like my second family. Once I started training Lucha, there was no going back. Have you learned some Spanish? I've learned a lot more Spanish ever since I started here. I could not actually have a full conversation, though.